Hello everyone and welcome back to Starfield Optimization. So I want to show you another method how to further optimize the settings which you can't do uh, from in-game. I already showed one of the video how to uh, reduce the render resolution but you can also mess around with some other stuff that you can't uh, change from in the game. So uh, let me just show you the difference first. This here is with uh, default settings. Uh, excuse me. Okay, now you can see the frame rate. I have another recorder open, but uh, well, it's not recording, so it just shows you the frame rate that I have, which is rather poor, I have to say, on low. And let's just uh, look at the same kind of scenery in here. So you can see the frame rate difference, and look, look, let's look up all the way. We're getting 50, 49. I mean, there is nothing to render. This, this is just absolutely horrible. You, you need like uh, all the graphics card power to render nothing? Why? And if you look down, it's roughly about the same. It's roughly about the same. I'm moving around also a little bit just to show you the frame rate difference in here. And now I'm gonna change to my custom settings. I will show you shortly how to do that. Right, I'm gonna show you the difference now. You have to switch just between the profiles. Let's change it to medium and then change it back to low. Uh, motion blur I'll keep off and uh, let's try again. Let's see how much it improves. And what do you know? We have 44, 43. I mean, visually it is a little bit blurry, yes, blurrier. But, I mean, it's a lot better. And now if you look up, 60. I have it capped on 60, so it doesn't go over 60 anyway. And if you look down, what do you know? 60. So this is a significant uh, improvement, if you ask me. And there's also one other setting you can make to uh, make things a little bit better in here. Is this thing in here. Here, the sharpening. This doesn't have any impact at all on some reason. Maybe like one frame? Maybe not. Uh, I'll put it on 100. Wait, uh, hold on. I'll take a screenshot because it's best seen on screenshots. So let's get close to her so you can see her hair and stuff. This is with zero. I will show you the screenshots side by side. And then we change it to 100, right? And then we take another screenshot. And there is basically almost no impact on the frame rate, as you can see. It's still uh, over 40, and if you look down, I should get 60. Uh, or not. Let's look up. What is there to sharpen? Does it sharpen the cloud edges or something? Okay, so I'll try one more time. If I look down, it's stuck on right now 57, 58. Okay, 57, 58. So let's put this on 50. Yeah, let's put it on 50 and let's try that. 58, 57, 58. I, I think this is just uh, instability. I don't think that actually changed anything. Yeah, this, this is still the same. Like I said, maybe like one frame difference. I'm getting like 43. It's bouncing on to 43. But yeah, there is not much difference at all. Hello. And it's not that bad from close. It does get blurry from uh, further away, but better than having like 30 frames per second. That's what I would say. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna quit the game and then I will show you how to uh, change these settings, what I just did in here. You don't even have to restart the game, actually. You don't have to do that, so um, that's not necessary. Alright, so the first thing, go into your Starfield uh, folder, wherever you installed it. This is where your Starfield EXE file is. And there you will find low, high, medium and ultra. I don't know where medium is here. So, I have uh, mostly worked on the low file, so we open it with uh, Notepad++. And then I'll also open the original one. I just kept the original as well. You should always make a copy. And then we can simply run the compare plugin in here and uh, check it. 
So this is my modified one on the left and the original is on the right as you can see by the file names. So look at the stuff I have changed in here. I will put the files onto my uh, Patreon or something like this. So you will see them in there. And in the game you have to change them. If you uh, already have low settings and you edit this file, then it's not going to have effect until you change it to like uh, from low to like medium and then back to low, then the changes will take effect. But you don't have to restart the game at all because these files are only read when you actually change the settings in the game. So you can keep the game open if you want to test, you can uh, modify it live and then you can just keep changing. But you have to change the entire preset. This is an entire preset and then from that preset you can change it to custom. But anyway, these are the changes, you can see them highlighted. You can further even mess around with them, like this only affects grass, and on my scenery there was no grass obviously, so it should give you better frame rate with grass. But mostly I messed around with shadows, I mean look at the differences in here, that's original compared to mine, because shadows are always uh, causing a lot of issues in every game. On some reason you can't even disable shadows, which is horrible. I don't know where I got these lines from. I think I got it from uh, another profile or something, maybe medium or high or something. I don't know why they are there, but they are there nevertheless. As you can see the original has just empty places in here. But well, I also uh, lowered the uh, shadow resolution as you can see, which does have some impact, you know. Uh, what else? Motion blur I don't even use, so this doesn't matter, but uh, I changed it anyway. This shouldn't have much impact anyway. Uh, right, uh, you can compare the files yourself if you want. Uh, this value is the other way around, the lower value is uh, higher quality. And if you're asking where you're getting this from, uh, like how do you know that, you can simply open also, uh, wait, excuse me, what was that? You can also open the ultra and then you can compare the ultra to the low, for example we close um, Let's close this one and let's compare these two now. Uh, this is also modified to Ultra because I was uh, testing some stuff, but uh, the original files uh, just make a backup and then you can compare them like the Ultra and the Low and that shows you the difference between the Ultra and the Low. So you know which values to lower like here you can see. And which was this value I said um, higher is better. Yeah, see this one, I mean lower is better better quality see this one is 0 0.75 this is uh, 175 in here so this is how you know which value is you know more um, resource hungry and which one is better and we'll also same with a crowd if you're getting bad frame rates in crowd then you can just lower it even further I think you can completely disable crowd I think that's just visual it, you don't really need it so as you can see the ultra has 175 and this has only 100 so it should be actually lower, I thought I lowered it to 50, but it doesn't matter, I don't really get any boost from that anyway, it's just badly optimized to begin with. And this one, like I said, I already changed this one in here, uh, on Ultra I think it's uh, 75 or something, or even uh, 1, which is 100%. But anyway, you get the idea, I hope, you can just mess around with these files and you can test whatever, but you have to, you know, actually read and put some common sense into it, you know. Like I said, just compare the values, like um, it should explain itself, you know, some of the values in here. Shadow map resolution, that should tell you it's the resolution of the shadows. It's quite obvious, isn't it? So um, compare it to the file and change uh, as necessary. You can always undo the changes, just make a backup and just test whatever it works. I hope you find it uh, useful because Starfield really, really needs an actual uh, graphics optimization patch, but I don't think that's coming. I honestly don't think so. So I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.